All right. So after creating these uh, all 21 sections on the 21 planes, these 21 arrow file sections. The next thing is that we are going to create the loft. So click on the features and then click on the lofted boss or base. And then simply choose the these profiles in a sequence. So uh, and if you see any problem, so you have to just move the anchor point on the required location and the problem will be solved. The next one arrow file. So in this way, choose all the arrow files one by one, but they should be in a sequence. And also I have saved the file for this step as well. I will show you in just in a, uh, within few moments, but let me complete this thing so that I can show you this complete procedure in a one go and just move it here. So we have selected almost all 21 sections. So it's a 20, 20 section here and this one is the 21 section. So you can see, you can check it also from here. So you can see that the we have selected only sketch 4 to the sketch number 21. So it means that the we have to display these sketches. So right click here and then click here and click on the show. And now go to the loft, lofted boss and base and you must be, you must confirm that the we are starting from sketch number one. This is very important. Again, do the same thing. Sketch one, two, three, four. So we are just confirming that everything is all right. So again, the same procedure. So it's again repetition of the everything because last time we made a slide mistake now to select the section one to section three section 13 section 14 section 15 16 17 18 and then the last two sections that's all So now just one uh, one more time confirm that the we have all sketches 21 sketches sketch 1 2 3 up to 21 now click on the this green tick mark so in this way we are able to we, we are able to create all these uh, we we are able to create the uh, the the blade section from the these 21 sections and uh, as i told you earlier that the this uh, geometry is consists of the Add the A09 arrow file profiles. So this 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 section in the green color, and the the section in the red color is the basically the transition region, and the bottom one is the circular section for the support purpose. So right now this is our geometry. You can hide the these uh, sketches. So just select them which are not with uh, which are not, which are visible right now, and then simply click on the this mark so all sections are hidden from the view we are we are showing everything and again select them and the the left mouse button and then click on the hide option and you can also change the color so you have to go to the colors option from here and click on the appearance and uh, you can change the color for that select the surface and then click on the edit appearance and then you can choose the any color you like and this is right now just this is not on the whole part it's on the one single face now click on the ok to confirm the selection and again I will choose the second surface and again the same command and this time I will make the color as the light blue and the combination of blue and the green color and click on the OK. So in this way you can change the color of the different surfaces 
which are the leading edge, trailing edge, upper surface, bottom surface, and the tip section. So in this video, basically we learned about that how to create the the whole blade section from the these arrow file sections, and there were twenty one profiles profiles for the these uh, uh, from the Ezra and arrow file, and we use the lofted boss and the base command, and we, then we are able to create the this whole section for the blade.